Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy. This week we're continuing with our mushroom recipe and we're making a chicken and mushroom pie. Now instead of making a big pie, I'm going to be using this tray here, a little kind of low profile muffin and make cute little mini pies. Because mini pies, they're just like little nuggets of goodness. You can just grab them when they're ready and you can eat them like boop, 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 boop. But most important is the crust. The crust, when you make a pie in front, it has to be what we call the pâte à pâté, which is a special pie crust with milk, okay? And this is what we're going to see in this video. We're going to concentrate on that. The techniques used in this video are going to be the same as last week. So link on the screen video description if you've missed this. And now we're going to start off straight to see how do we make that very special pie crust. Now we're going to start straight off by making the crust. Now I always keep on saying this for me. As much as you can do your pastry by hand, I've got a video on this, I'll put the link in the video description. I always think that using a food processor is really the easiest uh, of ways to make. So what you do, you take all of the flour, I'll put the ingredients in the video description, and you follow by putting in all of the butter. Okay, and we're gonna whiz this a little bit to mix that butter and flour together first. Okay, look at this. A few seconds in, I've got a nice sandy mixture, and now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So let me see how I go about with this. Right, so I did say that this short crust was a bit different than the rest, and you will see that the ingredients I've got here are a bit different. First off, it uses milk. Huh? Again, the ingredients are in the video description. And I'm gonna be using with that um, sugar and salt. Same, same amount. And the first thing we're gonna do here is to dissolve these two in the milk. After that, I'm gonna add an egg in. Okay, as soon as it's dissolved, I'm gonna put my egg in. And I always like to do this before adding this uh, to the dough and uh, when I'm using a food processor. So I'm not gonna beat the heck out of this. I'm just gonna make sure I've got a nice little mixture like that. And even though there's not much difference with the standard short crust, it is a little bit different because there's salt, sugar, and milk. Let's go. very quickly as usual boom it's done and fair enough in a matter of minutes look at that i've got a beautiful pastry so i'm going to wrap this up in a uh, cling wrap and put this in the fridge for one hour all right so my dough of course has been resting for some time i've done my mushrooms hence why my pan is like this i uh, use the same technique as our last video and all what i'm going to do now in a bit of oil is to slightly color my chicken. So I've diced the chicken and I'm just going to leave it gently on the bottom of the pan there to infuse with the mushroom uh, juices that are sticked on the pan uh, because I don't want to lose any of these, right? From here I'm just going to transfer all of this with my mushroom that I've got on the side and that's going to be the mix for my pies and we're going to deglaze what we've got in the pan here. Now for the deglazing, a little bit of shallots one or two tablespoons of water first. And you have to wait until the whole juices are caramelized and really dry. Eh? And when you're at that stage, boom, we're gonna add the port. Perfect, as soon as you can see, almost dry. And now we're gonna be able to add all of the chicken and mushroom mix. Mm, now look at this color. Now of course, you can't do without adding cream to the mix. All right, we're almost done. I'm gonna leave this on a very, very low simmer while I'm rolling out my dough, but one I like to add, I'm taking a bit of time here, and I detach all of the, uh, the, the, the little leaves of thyme. All right, so now we're ready to roll out our dough. So that has been resting uh, in the fridge. Uh, you tend to leave it out a little bit, like five or 10 minutes before, so it gets a little bit soft, easier to work with. And what we're gonna do, as always, nothing special. We're just gonna sprinkle our bench with a little bit of flour in there. Mm. Take my rolling pin, you can put a little bit of flour on the rolling pin, but that dough is usually pretty easy to work with. And so we're just gonna roll it out on a thickness of about three to four millimeter, which is less than a quarter inch. All done. So I've rolled out my dough here and it is now time to construct the pies. Now the pies are made of two components. You got a piece of circle of dough that's gonna be acting as the bottom here to fill the, and the all the muffin tray, which is where we're gonna put the filling. And then on top, you're gonna put a lid. And this is usually using a large cookie cutter 
and then a smaller one. But you need to make sure that whatever size of cookie cutter you're using in combination with the tray you're using are actually large enough to go in here and don't forget it is going to go downwards it needs to fill all of the edges and then the dough needs to overlap on the outside. In my case, three and a half inches is the largest I've got here. It's too small. So I'm improvising by using a simple lid uh, from another container that I had that is, as you can see, slightly larger than that. And that's going to be the perfect size. I'm going to use this for the bottom section and this circle here, these cookie cutters to cut the leads, right? So this is what I've done. I've got five so far, but as you can see, there's some gaps and you can easily roll out the off cuts and roll them again. But I'm just going to do the demonstration with this one. So five of each. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to work with this one here. So all what we're going to need to do, I've got one of these circles that I've got. I'm going to make sure that it goes inside. I'm going to raise the, uh, the edges and push this totally all the way to the bottom. And you want to make sure, okay, that you touch down on the bottom because we're going to be filling this as much as we can with the filling, okay? And as you can see, you see what I want to have? This is what I, which is what I meant. You see, that was very, very large, but because this is so deep, uh, we need to have these little edges of dough that we're going to use after with the lid to seal everything. And this is why it's important to have a very, very large disc to start with. And that is roughly what we need to have in terms of size. Just a little overlap on the side here. So I'm going to put all of the bays. Uh, I've got five of them, so just as an example. And we'll put some filling in. Nice, hold on. So what I've done, most important, make sure this is filled at the bottom and you got a bit of dough here. All what we have to do now, is to basically use our mix on a creamy mushroom and chicken. And you know what I do usually with this? I always try to fill this as much as I can by pressing down to make sure my pie is full. Because one thing I really don't like is to have a pie that lacks filling. So make sure you, know, you finish with a bit of cream, a bit of sauce, and I'm really gonna fill this up, all right? We want to fill it up. And now let's finish this off. What you're gonna need, you're going to need an egg wash, which is basically an egg beaten with a little bit of water in there huh? with a, a, kitchen, a kitchen brush or cooking brush. And we're going to take one of the lid here. I'm just going to show you the example for one. And we're going to put some egg wash and that's going to be acting as a glue. All right. You can use a spatula. Or you can use your hand to, to carry it around. And we're just going to put this here and I'm going to put this on top. You see, and you see how it connects with the rest of the dough. That's the first step. And then we're going to be using a fork to seal. So let me zoom it closer so you can see what's going on. Okay. So this is the lid on top of the other place of done. I've left this one free so that I can work. And all what you do basically now with the fork, and we're going to press down. And all what's going to happen here, we're going to be sealing totally the edges of our pies. And because we've got two layers of pastry here, you're going to be sure that nothing, or almost sure, because you never know, that nothing escapes, you see? So you do, do this, and then you finish off with some egg wash on top to give some nice color. All right, so first off, you have to make this little chimney. So some people prefer to use these kind of uh, piping tips and to push down and create a bit of a circle. You see, it, like it detach this, so you get a neat little chimney in here. And if really, really you want to push it uh, to have really something neat, you can use an extra cookie cutter to just cut the extra bits to make something really neat, you see. And what you're going to remove is just a little excess of dough. And that's going to ensure you got this really round, good looking kind of pie. So I'm going to do this um, because we're going to try to work uh, properly, but you don't have to. All right, I'm finished. I've added a last coat of egg wash on there. And now all what we need to do is to cook these at 170 degrees Celsius. I put the equivalent Fahrenheit on the screen for 35 to 40 minutes. 170 with fan on. If you don't have any fan forced oven, just use 180. If the color starts to get too brown too fast, just reduce the heat, but continue cooking. Why is this one looking different than the others? It is because that is the reclaim piece of pastry that I have left. I've reworked it with my hand. It becomes very elastic. So I want to show you using the same size cutter, look what happened. When the dough becomes elastic, everything starts to shrink. That's the original, huh? just out of the fridge, nicely rolled once, doesn't move, doesn't shrink. 
this is the one when you start to work it. So if you rework pieces of off cuts like that, make sure you make an even larger circle to make sure it fits. So when it retracts, you're just gonna have the right size. Very important. And now in the oven. And now for the pie reveal. So they've been cooked 45 minutes. I had to let them rest and for 15 minutes because they were a bit hot. And now let's have a look at how they turn out these mini pies. You see, let's look. So as you can see, we get a decent result. It is not totally, totally perfect. And let's stop for a sec here. So some of them are really beautiful. As you can see, the casing is really nice, all complete. But some of them had a bit of a leakage. Uh, if I put too much uh, cream, maybe. So it's leaked out a little bit on the side, but it makes for some kind of rustic. They're not totally straight. They could have been a little bit better. So we didn't do a bad job, but one of them this one with the reclaim this is the frankenstein one <laughs> look at that it still holds actually but it's leaked out it's not straight and uh, the casing is still very good in there so i think we're going to try to open that one first and uh, let's open the pie we're going to operate with the knife here so first important things we need to check the test do they hold uh you know the the knife test because that can be a big thing apparently no problem and now let's see what it looks like. Boom. <laughs> Look at this. Let me open a second one here. The pie is really, really totally filled. Chicken, mushrooms. Let me try this piece here. Wow. Well, that's much better. Now definitely, that's what I like. Okay. So these pies, as you can see, let's wrap up this little video on the opening of the pies. As you can see, the, the dough is nicely cooked. But you see how tender it is? That's what you want. And also, what you really want to have in there is a pie with lots and lots of filling because this guarantees you're going to have plenty of flavor. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. As always, if you have a question, use the uh, comment section in the video and you can make the recipe and share your picture on my Instagram account uh, and sharing with the hashtag French Cook Academy. You can also follow me on Facebook. And if you like, you can also join my online French cooking courses. But that's it for me. I'll see you all next week for another French cooking video on the French Cooking Academy. Take care all. Bye bye.